LUTO, Low Impact Urban Transport Water Omnibus, and an acronym that concisely but comprehensively describes the characteristics of this innovative water bus, or Vaporetto as it is called in Venice. The LUTO project began in 1996 following the approval of the European Commission for a research project aimed at public transport systems with low environmental impact characteristics to be utilized on urban waterways. The partners of the project are ACTV in the role of coordinator, Intermarine, Marin, Shuttle, SVA and the Department of Naval Engineering of the University of Naples. The European project that had the financial support of the European Commission concentrated its research in the fields of hydrodynamics and naval architecture, while ACTV invested in a parallel research project investigating hybrid propulsion systems. This has permitted the construction of a vaporetto which, with respect to the protection of the environment, permits a reduction in the generation of waves, an attenuation in noise emissions, and a significant decrease in pollution caused by gas emissions. The first analyses performed by the University of Naples identified a hull design compatible with the objectives of the research project. Simultaneously, Schottel, a German company that specializes in naval propulsion systems, together with SVA, a Berlinese research institute, were finalizing the azimuthal propulsion system, optimizing it to the objectives of the project. Dedicated tests utilizing a sophisticated test tunnel permitted an optimal prop to be identified, constructed in composite materials. These two research activities were completed by Marin, that utilized all the technical and scientific expertise of the Institute, performing exhaustive simulations in its test basins. For each velocity, scaled reproductions of the various canals of the lagoon in various operative conditions were investigated. The results of the simulations were then elaborated with a sophisticated computer program, in part specifically developed for the project. These elaborations generated the optimized hull lines, taking into account the integration of the hull with the propulsion system. The resulting design achieves a reduction of up to 20% in wave generation and an increase of up to 18% in efficiency. Based on these results, Intermarine, a shipbuilder specialized in the field of composite materials, commenced the construction of the hull and superstructure. A one-off mould was utilised for the construction of the prototype, which has been built using a patented isophthalmic fibreglass. Particular care has also been used for the acoustic isolation of the sources of noise. The propulsion system of the ship is hybrid and has been supplied by Ansaldo. It utilizes a low-power diesel generator that runs at a constant rate and provides energy to an electric motor as well as charging a battery pack. The battery pack supplies the extra power necessary during abnormal acceleration or braking maneuvers and can also be utilized alone to navigate the whole of the Grand Canal without the use of the diesel generator. The electric motor has a power rating of 90 kilowatts and permits the Vaporetto to reach a top speed of 10.8 knots. Mm -hmm. 